Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming Abroad. My name is Jens and we're back at it again buying used games, accessories, systems, action figures, whatever we can find to go ahead and use uh, half of that profit to build that 3DS collection back there and the other half of the profit to keep buying more merchandise so that we can flip that merchandise and collect the 3DS collection in 2022. So guys, I just wanted to make a quick episode about Shenyu, the app that I use because I did have uh, some uh, people leave some comments about Shenyu and some of my friends asking stuff about it. So I thought maybe I'd talk a, a little bit more about Shenyu. So this episode is focused on just Shenyu, uh, how I'm gonna use it to build my collection and how lucky I am to be able to use this app and find some great deals. So just to give you an update guys, I still don't have a tooth. Um, I guess I didn't understand uh, how that, that in, an implant works, but uh, I had them put the titanium screw in there, which was a nightmare. And then they, had, they did it, they drill a hole in your jaw and then they, got, they use some sort of a mallet or something. It was crazy. Still suffering a little bit of pain. I, I won't actually have the crown put into like until uh, October. It seems like it's a very long process, but uh, since we're, eight, we're wearing masks right now, when I go outside, uh, I guess uh, I can hide my smile for a little bit. My God, it's like a big window into into the uh, unknown. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, Shenyu, I love this app, guys. It's been so good to me. My wife introduced me to it. Um, I've been able to find a lot of things. Um, like recently, uh, if you noticed on the background, uh, Majora's Mask has duplicated. I uh, accidentally broke um, one of the spikes on the one that's lit up. Uh, I, I broke uh, the tip. I trying to reach uh, behind it and I kind of tipped it with my arm and I kind of juggled the spike as it fell and then it landed right on the tip, smacked the piece off. And I did the only logical thing, which was uh, go on the app. And there was a person who was under uh, selling one for uh, maybe one third of the price. They go for like about a thousand on eBay. So he was selling it for like, I don't know, I think it was like 300 and something dollars. So I picked it up. So now I have two. Uh, one of them is missing the battery, but I have ordered the battery um, and I'll eventually get it like within a week or two and then I'll have two working uh, Majora's masks, which uh, was something I wasn't expecting to buy, but uh, it's a great deal. And again, this app Shenyu presented a uh, really good value. I mean, if I was just to turn around and flip that uh, figure, uh, you know, just paying about close to what, 350 maybe for it and then selling it for about a thousand dollars, it's a good investment. So this app, uh, Shenyu, you can find so many things on it, guys. Uh, and it doesn't just have to be like video games or video game related merchandise. There's tons of stuff like uh, action figures, like turtles or Star Wars. I mean, there's so many crazy things that uh, you can find on there that are worth money, but I am not um, well educated on those things and how to flip those things. I would have to spend uh, more time doing research and stuff like that. And that's what um, I want to talk about next is when you want to build your collection, you have to be able to do research um, into what you're going to purchase uh, so that you know you, you can maximize your profit. So for me, I've been watching tons of videos uh, from different uh, resellers on YouTube, like Phoenix uh, Resells, uh, Retro Rig, uh, Pixel Game Squad, Mr. Rightway, uh, my best friend Edgar, he's the one that got me into this, you know, and uh, I'll put a link up here to his videos. And he's always picking up really great deals, you know, back home, he uses pawn shops, thrift shops, uh, game stores, swap meets, uh, Mercari, Facebook, uh, any of these places. And, you know, sometimes, you know, he finds amazing things. And sometimes, you know, maybe it'll be a dry week, he won't find anything. But, you know, one day maybe he won't go anywhere, um, you know, except one place. And then that one place, like a pawn shop, has like games that are like a dollar or two dollars. And then they turn around and they're worth like a hundred dollars. So there's definitely money to be made from flipping games. If you want to build your collection that way, you can definitely do that. You just have to spend time and know that sometimes, uh, you know, when you go to the stores, when you go to the pawn shops, the thrift shops, you're not gonna find anything and it's okay. You just gotta try the next time, uh, make uh, connections with people that work there like he has, and then just, uh, you know, just keep consistently doing research on eBay or wherever to keep track of those prices. And then you know what you can buy and flip and then make a profit to fund whatever it is that your your hobby is. Uh, even me, uh, sometimes on this app, Shenyu, um, I can go three or four days without finding anything. But again, I'm only limited to what I'm looking for, which is uh, 3DS games, uh, 3DS systems, uh, GameCube games, GameCube, uh, Wii U games, um, 
these things like this is what I'm looking for. So I'm only focused in that small uh, area of things that I want to purchase because game um, 3DS games are, are are small. You know, I can they're easy to ship. They won't cost me a ton when I prepare a bulk uh, uh, item to ship. Uh, I can also bring them home with my uh, with me, and they're not you know they're not gonna take a lot of room uh, in luggage and stuff like that. So uh, let's take a quick look at Shenyu again, and then just kind of go over how I. Um, use this app all right guys so this is Shenyu here uh, on my iphone uh, here's the uh, main screen uh, where you kind of get to see things that they recommend so they're recommending with the uh, golf story on this on the switch uh, some game boy advance sp some figures Is that a camera sephiroth final fantasy explorers uh for 30 bucks uh, figures uh, controllers Things like this. So it's just there's a Pac-Man sign that I bought <laughs> that I have in the background. Uh, what I paid for it, which was like uh, five, three, four fifty RMB, by like nine dollars. And then a bunch of other stuff you can pick up here: uh, records, games, just all kinds of stuff, guys. So let's go really quick to searching. So if I want to search for something, I can click. Uh, this one says Nintendo GameCube games. So here it'll show me some games. Uh, here is uh, Bomberman. Chatters. Uh, this one here is going for about $32 complete. And uh, have a bunch of other games here. Different games up here. Some systems. Zelda Wind Waker for uh, about $50. Sonic Heroes for about $30. Um, what is this? Pokemon Coliseum. Looks like a German copy. Yep, German copy going for. $170 maybe, $72 and just a bunch of other stuff. GameCubes, these are mostly Japanese GameCubes. I rarely ever see North American GameCubes, so yeah. And then Pac-Man over here and Pac-Man 2 for maybe like $35. Um, just tons of systems and random games. And then I can also do... Uh, so we did GameCube. It's my wife sending pictures. Uh, what do do? Uh, Wii U games. Uh, what is this? Just Dance 2015, brand new. That's what the yellow sticker on the bottom says. And actually, this seller here, MW0, uh, he has a lot of great games. He's uh, added to my favorites. Uh, he's got a couple of 3DS games that I want, like the Epic Dis um, uh, Mickey, uh, the Hello Kitty Picnic. These are all new because they have that yellow sticker that says uh, new product. Uh, so I picked up this one from her, him, Greg Gabriella. That one's a good game to get. Uh, I want this ma mahjong, mahjong here. This one's uh, going for about $40, I think. So he's got a bunch of stuff here. Um, whoops. So let's keep going. So yeah, this is uh, looking at Wii games. Some of these are Japanese. Some of these are uh, North American. Uh, Wii U pads. You can pick up all kinds of stuff here. And then let's look at 3DS, where I spend most of my time. Uh, whoops. So 3DS. Uh, game cards and here we got some games here here's Naruto what is it? oh it's the DS Naruto Ninja Destiny for the DS they want mm, maybe like ten dollars for it <clears throat> seems complete uh, we got Dragon Ball Fusions here this one's a good one uh, uh, what is it $69 maybe uh, does look to be a real copy BDLE yeah yeah it's not bad that's a good game to try to pick up um, Cubic Ninja, what region is that? I don't know, G region is maybe PAL, I'm not really sure. Mm, Kid Icarus, so that's a good copy to get right there. Let's see, uh, the yellow star at the bottom means I've liked it. So I'm keeping my eye on that one. Let's, they want uh, maybe like $18 for it. And I think you can make a good profit selling it uh, loose. Uh, Street Fighter, you got uh, there with the game with uh, the manual for about seven, eight dollars. Another DS games, some uh, Japanese games, and uh, this is what I do, guys. I just kind of spend a lot of time looking here uh, for games, and um, I guess this is where I get lucky. I find those Metal Gears for thirty dollars. Like that one comment that I got, like how how do you how do people sell Metal Gear for thirty dollars brand new? I think it's because most of the time they uh. 
they are just selling um, the copies of these games to people that may, may be Chinese. They, they don't think that anybody will buy it, that uh, any foreigners will buy it. So it's just luck and I'm the one buying the copies. And here's somebody selling a bunch of random games uh, for the 3DS. It looks like they only have Mario Tennis for $15 and a couple other games here. Yeah, and Monster Hunters already have this. Not much money to be made from those, so keep looking. Japanese games, what's that? Spectrum Beyond the Portal. So a lot of DS games popped up. Um, so yeah, I just do this every day and then just till I find good deals and then I'll buy them when I see them. Uh, and then I'm looking for games to flip and games to add to the collection. Dragon Quest, Japanese. Uh, so what are these all Japanese? Yeah, all Japanese. These are all Japanese copies. And yeah, you just gotta go through this like every day and random stuff will pop up. So many games. <laughs> and this is what I do, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, it's like you see how many Japanese copies I see and not many uh, North American games. So sometimes I just get lucky and they show up and it's just at the right time. I get to, I look at the app at the right time. And that's uh, when I can pick up uh, games. So here's a bunch of games they want. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like about 80 RMB for these DS games here each. So about nine bucks, 10 bucks for each one of them. Uh, what is this? Rabbits 3D and uh, Super Mario. So Mario is, I think is 128. Rabbits is 148. Together they'll take 268, which is about 30. $40 probably and just tons of games guys um, and again this is what I do this is Shin Yu and you can look for so many things here I mean it's just whatever you're looking for figures games systems anything that uh, you know you want to look for uh, you'll definitely find here all right let's go back to gents on the desk so that was uh, Shin Yu guys uh, just kind of showing you a little bit more about what that app is and how I use it uh, again guys, um, I'm using it because uh, I'm lucky to be here and I can use it to build this 3DS collection uh, by flipping these items. And you could also do that, I mean I'm telling you guys back home and find all kinds of stuff at pawn shops and places like that like my friend Edgar does. I mean he's got uh, so many things that he finds like he showed me some symbols that he found for like one of the rock band um, games or something like that and these are worth like hundreds of dollars and he paid very little for them uh, games that he's buying uh, and he's finding them for like a dollar or two and they're worth like a hundred dollars so definitely it just takes time to um, uh, you know go look around and he does this on his spare time you know after he's worked like 12 hours he'll go like if he has enough energy to uh, punch up for one hour or less and just go look for stuff you know and again it's it's all luck because I'm pretty sure there's competition uh, as well um, looking for things so guys, um, I'm building my 3DS collection by flipping games and I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the stuff that like, like I'm going to be flipping and some of this I already showed in videos but like these games here. So here you're looking at Professor Layton, uh, E-Train series games here, some uh, uh, Puzzle Dragons and these are games that I just kind of, uh, I'm going to be shipping to the US and to flip and I mean these are games I picked up for very cheap and these are games that I'm going to flip. But the big ones that I've been collecting because I have a chance to do it here are uh, like Kid Icarus. So I plugged some of these in into price charting, uh, the calculator, you'll see it here. Uh, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Uh, if you can see here, Kid Icarus is going for about uh, 85 complete in box, uh, Etrian Odyssey 67, Etrian Odyssey on Total Millennium Grove 54, Tekken is going for 89 new, uh, 83 complete in box, Dead or Alive 66 uh, in uh, complete in box, Metal Gear uh, new for 176, Fantasy Life 55, Metal Gear Solid 3D loose 90, uh, complete in box 129. So if you look at the total of those games, it's about $900 just in those uh, 10 games right there. Well, uh, I've been collecting them for a couple of months now and Kid Icarus, see here I got what, five of these already? And then I got three of them that uh, are loose. So just in Kid Icarus alone, alone here is about $500. So I'm using my, uh, 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 I guess my luck on being able to find games like this here for cheap to be able to fund that 3DS collection because it's expensive. Uh, I kind of uh, put the value of the 3DS collection somewhere about 12, uh, 13 or 14,000 dollars. 
and that's not including like the super hard uh, to find uh, limited edition games. I just stayed uh, to the regular copies of the games, not adding any uh, collect collector's editions or day one editions unless I find them for a really good deal. And then of course Tekken, you guys know that I went on a Tekken spree, I uh, picked up a whole bunch here. Uh, and this one here, each one can go for about um, anywhere from 80 to $90, uh, the new ones or the used ones. And I mean, just tons of games, guys. And then of course, the ones uh, that we love in this channel here is uh, Metal Gear. We got tons of Metal Gear games here. Quite a few of them are, are the, uh, oops, let's see if I do there. Are the sealed ones. And then we got the uh, complete in box. And I still have some more that are not part of this pile. They're over there somewhere. And then of course I do got loose copies of Metal Gear here. There's like four of them. And um, it's just, I, I did research. I went on YouTube. I looked up games that are doing well and Metal Gear was one of them. Um, another one that I saw on um, eBay that was doing well, like I said, it was Tekken. So I said, okay, I'm gonna pick up Tekken. Uh, another one was, uh, what is it, Dead or Alive. So I said, okay, I'm gonna pick up Dead or Alive um, and because it's it's worth money. So just between the Dead or Alives, the uh, the Metal Gears, and the Kid the Kid Icarus, and then these here, um, not putting at what I have invested into these games here. I'm gonna try to lift them up without making a mess. So this what you're looking here is I'm pretty sure is somewhere about. $2,000 or more worth in games uh, that I could flip and um, It's games that I paid very little for only because I got lucky looking through the app uh, You know and being able to find some really good games on here And this is how I'm gonna fund the rest of that collection back there because it's very expensive <laughs> to collect the 3ds games um, Some of them I've been finding very cheap here But I know that some of them there will be no other way for me to find them unless I eventually go home Go to some of these awesome uh, game expos, uh, trade with people, uh, trade locally, uh, and maybe some of them will only like be an eBay thing, like that Barbie game. That's gonna be my nightmare game for sure. It's a two thousand plus dollar game, so uh, yeah, that one's gonna be interesting. So that's how I expect for me to fund that collection. And not only that, um, it's fun. It, I think it's really interesting that I'm able to find so many games from different people and uh, meet some really interesting people on that app because a lot of them, are, they see that I'm a foreigner so they'll talk to me and we talk about games and things like that. And I can also buy things that I want for my collection like uh, this one I just picked up which I'm really happy about is the uh, Final Fantasy Limited uh, Edition, the uh, Endwalker uh, expansion pack figure that was in the box. I found it for I think like uh, $70 and then it goes for like $200. So I was like so lucky to have it. Now I have the complete set. And this one was new in the box. The person that shipped it really, uh, packed it really well. And I mean, that app is able to uh, expand my hobby and I can find things really cheap. And I'm gonna be able to build this 3DS collection uh, with you guys. So with that being said, guys, I am planning to give away some of these uh, uh, copies. I mean, uh, extra copies that I have. I mean, I will do some uh, uh, giveaways, especially once we hit a thousand subscribers. I want to give away some Metal Gears, some Kid Icarus, and um, some Tekken, some Dead or Alive, uh, and some other awesome games that um, I want to share with you guys because I think it's really cool that I'm able to find these things and I, I would love to share this with you guys, uh, the viewers and the subscribers. So with that being said, guys, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe Join me on this adventure. We're gonna have a blast. We're gonna find so many awesome things. Uh, and I can't wait to show you more. Uh, thank you guys. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you again.